This is Japan's tiniest truck driver, and today we're going on an adventure. Let's go! Can you adjust the height of the truck? Wow, air, So this is Kana. <laughs> and this is already way more fun than I thought. So Kana, how many years have you been a truck driver? What made you want to be a truck driver? That is a 300 liter tank. Roughly, how far can you go? Oh, you got it. <laughs> Give us a tour later of inside the truck. So our first mission of the day is to go and pick up the container. Right now, back here, there's nothing. It's completely empty. So we're just pulling up to the factory right now, but we're not actually allowed to show the factory itself or the container being attached and loaded. It's super mysterious. I kind of love it. <laughs> Coming out of the factory, I'm actually really impressed with how Kana at her size is able to load up everything. <笑>あとは脚立踏み台を使って登って積んでます。大変です。めんどくさいです。<笑><笑> How fast can you go?
it's actually much smoother now that we have the. So we're back on the highway now and from this point we have about 250 kilometers. I always love driving the Japanese highways because you get to see so much of the countryside. Japan is filled with mountains. Over 70% of the entire country is mountainous. But on that same note, because Japan is so mountainous, there are a lot of hills which can be really tough on the truck track. <laughs> And it doesn't even seem like that big of a hill. What are our options? Perfect. You have a lot of omamori. What's the plan? What's your favorite food? Shabu shabu. Let's go. I'm walking with or shooting Hana, I have to make a very conscious effort. To lower the camera, <laughs> like, like crouch down like this. セガ低いのは気に入ってます。大好きです。ちっちゃくて良かったです。でも私のお母さんの方がもっと身長が低くて、ママは可愛いです。美味しそうな匂いがする。早く食べたい。お腹すいた。You have a table. Table. What? <laughs> I don't even know products like this existed. What? <laughs> Use here? Is that okay? Okay. Thank you. For those who don't know what takoyaki is, they are, well, they're little round balls that have pieces of octopus in them. On top they've got some sauce, mayonnaise, and katsuobushi, which is like flaked katsuo fish. Mm. Mm. Oh, and they're always very hot. <laughs> mm. Wow. One of the reasons I wanted to meet up with Kana today and do this video is because a small part of me has always thought that when I retire, I love driving so much that I thought when I retire, I could just grab a truck and peacefully work as a truck driver. Mm, in Japan. Why? Why? Okay. Why Mottai <laughs> Nai? I love the peace, the relaxation. You know, you can just, it's so low, it's nice, it's quiet. Okay, so what do you like the most about being a truck driver? やっぱり、うん。一人の時間は好きで。うん。Right? Yeah. Yes, it's basically exactly the same. But before we finish up our takoya, mine is ripping. And get back on the road, kind of going to give us a bit of a tour in here because I've never had a chance to be inside of a Japanese truck before. I think it's amazing that you can stand in here. ここが収納でちょっと汚いんで開けられないんですけど。こうやっていろんな収納がいっぱいあって寝泊まりするのにも全然大丈夫で、ここが私のベッドです。ここで夜寝ます。人形たちがいっぱいいるんですけど。これが
睡眠用の遮光カーテンで結構真っ暗になりますそれがこっちまでずらーってできますこれがデジタコっていう速度を測ったり時間の管理をしてる機械でマニュアルのトラックですだいたいこんな感じです落ちます、right. also kinda I noticed you also have a GoPro here GoPro <laughs> <laughs> Do you like GoPro? No! Oh! Nice! <laughs> 遅い<笑> Okay, this is perfect. We are gonna be good friends. I don't like GoPro. The reason that Kana has a GoPro in here is because Kana has her own channel. Kana channel. And that's how I found her. She has her own truck driving channel where she shares her experiences. Obviously, I will link it up here at the end and everything, but yeah, that's, that's how we found each other. Also, since it's a truck, the rear view mirror is a camera. Japan's truck culture is actually very interesting. There's very cool decorated trucks here in Japan, and they even have a name. Dekotora des. This is actually a pretty big truck, but what do you think of the like really big transport trucks in like North America and Europe? Ah, <laughs> we just had a motorbike whip by us and the guy was in shorts and a t-shirt on the highway and kind of like that that's crazy. One of the things that kind of always puts on her channel is the troubles and issues that she runs into as a truck driver. For example, one of the big ones is her company does not allow them to use GPS, navigation systems. They have to do all the calculations for the height of the truck and their route and everything by themselves and cannot use navigation. <laughs> Mind you, that's not super rare in Japan. I'm doing flight training at the moment and it's the exact same thing. We cannot use anything digital. Everything has to be calculated and done by hand, paper maps and all of that. But it definitely adds to trouble. Every now and then she says that a typhoon will roll through and the highways will get closed and she has to use like back streets. And in Japan, the back streets can get pretty narrow. to get there at or around dark. It seems like we are on schedule right now, but I figured one of the biggest questions that's probably gonna come up from people watching this, I have six sisters and I'm wondering this, is does Kana feel safe? As a 146 centimeter female driving the country of Japan completely alone into the middle of the night, how do you feel? <laughs> あるし全然
due to kind of YouTube following, a lot of which are actual truck drivers here in Japan. She has a good number of people always looking out for her and keeping an eye on her. And the YouTube channel alone acts as a bit of a layer of protection because people are like, well, if I, if I do anything to her, it might end up on YouTube. <laughs> that was so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, long day. Long day. <laughs> Tana's channel and everything will be linked at the end so you can go check that out. Make sure to give her some love. Thank you guys so much for joining and we'll see you again. Yeah, this is... Bye. <laughs> Also, a lot of people are going to be asking if Kana speaks English in order for... She doesn't speak English, but she worked really hard today for the video, so... Very well done. Very well done. Alright guys, see you real soon. See you soon!